fitness friends. Today we have a 40 minute hit de-stress workout to do. This is gonna be 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We'll have 10 moves. I'm gonna split them into groups of five. We'll do each group of five four times. These moves are all moves you've done before. This is meant to de-stress, to not have to focus on learning how to do a new move. Just think about your form and think about how you're getting stronger and leaner and improving your quality of life. So let's get ready to get moving. All right, I hope you're all warmed up and ready to go. I forgot to mention in my intro that I'll be using a heavy set of weights and then I'll be making them lighter for a different move. I'll also be using an elevation for some elevated push-ups and some double for double chair and like butt kickers. So if you don't have an elevation, grab a chair. If you don't want to use that, you can do your push-ups right on the ground and you can also do the double leg butt kickers right on the ground. You're just going to be in a pike position kicking both legs up and over, kind of like a lateral plank hop. All right, 20 minute interval. First five moves, we'll be repeating it four times, okay? So, oops, cancel. Let's get started, 10 second countdown. We are beginning with our elevated toe touch push-ups. If you don't want to elevate, that's fine. Do them on the ground. Oops, always forget to turn up that timer. That was our timer to start, let's go. Make sure everything else is out of your way. Okay, here we go. Push up, toe touch. Push up, toe touch. Abs are tight. Core is stable and strong through that toe touch. nice and far and make sure you squeeze at the top. Really great. Squeeze at the top of that motion. And you're breathing. the more you'll be working 
doing your glute muscle, if that's what you're going for. Hi, sweetie. Oh, that's your favorite. Okay, good job. Whew. Chest fly and leg raises. Okay, so I'm sticking with the 18 pounds, so I don't have to change it. And I'm going to do a chest press instead. So, get down. Get those legs out in front of you. And press up straight above your shoulders, nice and slow, steady and controlled. Focus on the muscle groups you're working. Stay strong. Your back should be tight against your mat. Feel that nice stretch through your hamstrings when you bring your legs up directly above your hips. Keep those legs tight and strong. Okay, we are already back up to the top. Whew. Now, moving on to our elevated toe touch push-ups. Let's do it. Push up, toe touch. Push up, toe touch. Stay strong. Good form here. Mommy, 
You don't want to bang your leg during this movement. Nice big step backs. Stay with it. Okay, nice work. That's our last move. Oh yes, chest presses. So you're down on your back, get those legs out, get those weights up above your shoulders. Chest press and leg weight, raise. Let's go. Stay strong. Press nice and smooth. Your legs are tight and straight. Stay focused. This is a strength move. If you'd rather work your butt during this move, go ahead and put your legs into a bridge. You can do a single leg bridge or a double leg bridge. Okay, nice work. Back up to the top again. For our elevated toe touch push-ups. That's 10 minutes down already, guys, so keep going. Let's go. Get these first 20 minutes finished. Two more rounds. Here we go. Toe touch. Toe touch. Toe touch. Stay strong. Your hands are under your shoulders. Nice full push up. Toe touch. You're alternating your toe touches. I feel that in my abs for sure. Get those heavy weights up. We go down to those squats. Let's go. Sit back, squeeze it up, sit back. Stay strong, really exaggerate that squeeze at the top. Last one. Okay. Dropping my weights again to 15 per hand for the lunges and bicep curls. Okay. Let's go. Nice deep lunge. Bicep curl. Kick it back through your heel. Open this one. You can see me a little bit better. Don't do that, please. Stay in your nice deep one. Do that full bicep curl. Don't swing those arms. And let's work. Lunge and chop. And switch this weight. Step it back, lunge, chop, up. But you should have left the door open, sweetheart. Up. Come on, stay in your movement. This is supposed to be a de-stress routine. We know the five moves now. We're going through it for a third time. 
We've got one more time on these moves before we switch. Core is tight. Stay strong. One. Okay. Moving on to your, um, your leg up abs and chest presses. Lay my mat down. My lower back here. Okay, get down. Let's go. Get those legs and arms moving. Make sure you're breathing. Don't want to hold your breath while you're doing ab movement. Evie, leave the door open or shut, honey, okay? Okay, well, you have to open it all the way then. I'm using my yeah. 24 pounds from hand for this chest press. Yeah. Oh. You're super setting it with those push-ups. That's why these two moves together are so challenging. Stay strong. Okay, nice work. Whew. Have a nice yeah. far out of your way here. Elevated push-ups. Toe touches. Let's do it. This is our last time through. We'll have 20 minutes in, and we'll move on to five new moves. Thank goodness, right? <laughs> Had enough of these push-ups. Make sure you use your breath. Help to push yourself back up. Okay. Whew. Those are done. You don't have to do them again. Hi, nice, sweetheart. Deep, heavy weight squats. Get them going. Sit it back. Really exaggerate that squeeze at the top. Make a difference in that booty. You gotta squeeze that muscle. Next 
Alex is doing a nice pipe move here behind me. I'm sure none of you are watching me at this point. <laughs> but that's all right. As long as you're still doing your reverse, reverse lunge and chops, you don't have to watch me. Okay, good work. Whew. All right, moving on to our chest presses and leg raises. You have your weight set. Get it going. Squeeze those legs. Keep your abs pulled in. Press up directly above your shoulder. You don't need to climb those weights together in the center. Your hands can stay going right above your shoulders. Your elbows are going out. Legs are coming up and down, nice and strong. If you want to do a chest fly here because you don't have heavy enough weights to do presses, that's fine. I'm only doing presses so I don't have to switch weights again. Okay, that is it, 20 minutes in. Nice work. We're gonna move on to our next five exercises that we'll be doing four times. If you wanna push pause here and take a quick break, go ahead. And, all right, we're gonna get started on our next five moves. We're gonna go through them four times. I'm already dripping with sweat, hopefully you guys are too. 10 second countdown is started. We're beginning with double leg chair butt kickers. I'll be using the side of my step here. If you don't have an elevation, do them in plank on the floor. All right, so like it. Get on the corner, kick it up and over. Go fast. You barely want to land and touch the ground before you're jumping right back over. Stay strong. Take a two second break, keep going. Okay. 
Okay, you guys can't play it right here though. Go that way. Okay, get down your burpee. Push up. Hop it up. Tuck dog. All right, keep going. Stay with it. Slap those knees with your hands. Sink it down. Your knees are soft. 
soft, your abs are tight. What's we heard? You're gonna play out in the hallway. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Trampoline and a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, stay strong. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, your workout has a lot less stressors impacting it than mine does. I know that does not happen when we work out at home, but we are working out. We're sweating. You're giving yourself some time to become stronger. And improve your quality of life. Okay. Back. To the top. On to those double leg chair butt kickers. Okay. Let's do it. I'm going to go for 40 before I break. Get 
that weight in. Abs are tight. Stick that butt back. Really squeeze at the top. Chest it out. Your weight stays really close to your legs. Just centimeters away from banging your knees. Really squeeze that butt. This is full body routine <clears throat> with a nice butt focus. <laughs> it's one of my new goals is to get a stronger butt. Okay, back to the top. Double leg chair butt kickers. Let's go. Pick your number. Try to get there. This is your last time doing these. Stay strong. Uh, nice work. Whew. Okay, deadlifts. Get 
those weights. Let's do it. Exaggerating a squeeze at the top. I'm gonna have a sore butt tomorrow. This is no joke. Okay, we have our very last move. This is to repeat those tuck jump burpees. That's it, there's no burnout. Just do this strong. Come on. Jumps. Then us out this routine with strength and determination. With focus on yourself. This is for you. And apparently you're helping those around you too. At least I am. I know I'm a nicer mommy when I work out. I can feel it in my level, level of tolerance in my patients when I don't work out. So stick at it. Stick with it. Whew, nice routine. That was a great 40 minutes. I'm dripping with sweat. Feeling strong. Let me know what you liked and I'll see you next time.